Cold plunging is one of my favorite ways to recover my sore muscles, but the problem with a lot of them is that they take up a lot of space and they aren't portable. Now, that is not the case with the Energize cold plunge tub. This inflatable plunge only takes about 15 minutes for you to set up. It filters your water so you're not having to drain it after every single use. You can control the chiller with your phone, but the cherry on top, you can deflate it and put it in the included duffel bag and take it on the road with you. It's one of my favorite cold plunges on the market right now, so let's dive into this full review. What's up y'all, it's Jake, back at the Barbin Garage Gym. Obviously we're outside today, and that's because we got another cold plunge video for you. This time we're gonna be talking about the Energize cold plunge tub. Now, if you don't know how this whole process works, in this video today, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this cold plunge, from the price, some of my pros and cons I've experienced, you might experience as well. Most importantly, who should or maybe should not purchase one of these. Now, hold on real fast, before I start doing all of that, I gotta let you know, we've reviewed a ton. I'm talking a ton of cold plunges on barbin.com. We did the hard part for you. Went ahead and compiled a best list of all of our favorite options on the market. So if you want to check that out, all you got to do is search barbin best cold plunges. That list is going to pull right up for you and you can find out for yourself which ones we like the best. So let's talk about some of my favorite things about this cold plunge and we got to talk about the installation process. All right, so Everything's said and done, it only takes around 15 to 20 minutes. And I timed myself and it took me about six minutes to inflate the actual tub and the cover itself right here. So everything else is only 10, 12 minutes or so. That's, that's a really nice thing right there for obvious reasons. If you wanna take it down, you, know, you definitely can. I love how there's a filter connected to the chiller right here. It's gonna obviously filter your water for you and prevent you from you know, having to drain the water after every use or even every other use. Plus, you're gonna get a four month water maintenance kit. That way, you know, everything's nice and sanitary. And another awesome selling point with this plunge is the portability. It's one of our favorite portable options on the market. It's super easy to do. You know, it only takes around five minutes or so to deflate it. And then you can fold it up, put it in that included duffel bag, and easily take it on the road with you. Now, you are gonna have to, you know, bring that chiller with you, unless you don't want to. I actually noticed that there's some stoppers that are already attached to where you hook up the hose. I'll show you guys all that in just a little bit. You can actually use ice with this if you want. You know, if you don't want to bring the chiller with you, you still have access to a hose. You can plug it up, fill it up with water, and then you know, toss in your ice and you're good to go. Now there's still a few things you need to know. And first of all, we gotta talk about the money. You're gonna be spending around five grand on this cold plunge right here. Now, while I ultimately think you know the portability and the option to you know take it down and store it, you know, whenever you want is you know pretty much worthy of that price tag, you can still go and get an acrylic one for around the same amount of money. And, you know, sticking with that acrylic, you know, while I, I think this build right here is fine, you know, they use the same drop stitch polyester fabric that's used with inflatable kayaks and paddle boards, but it still probably isn't gonna be as durable as an acrylic, you know, tub. Now, those acrylic models, you know, they literally resemble a bathtub, so they're gonna be bigger than this model right here, but, this still isn't necessarily small, I guess you could say, compared to like, you know, like the ones that resemble a barrel. Also, we need to talk about the condensation. So I'm sure you can see it right now. This is not water leaking. This is literally just some condensation from being outside. It's gonna happen, it's part of it. I don't, wouldn't necessarily you know, say it's a negative aspect. It's just something that you definitely need to remember. And then also we need to talk about the fact that you're gonna have to you know, refill this with air every so often. So they claim on the website, you know, it really is only gonna release one to two PSI per month, but I didn't necessarily find that to be true. I've had to, you know, pump more air into this bad boy after just a couple of days. So, you know, all these things, uh, just keep all those in mind whenever you're going to make this purchase. So the Energize Cold Plunge Tub is gonna run you right around $5,000, as I mentioned just a second ago, and honestly, I'm kind of torn at the end of the day on whether or not this is you know a good price because yes the portability is really nice the option to take it down and store it whenever you need to or want to is you know, really the main selling point but you know if you're wanting a you know a, a plunge to be stationary you know, at all times you can get an acrylic one as i mentioned for around the same amount of money and that's going to be more durable and be able to withstand you know the harsh elements of being outdoors probably better than this one will right here now Compared to you know the barrels that you have to use a lot of water and a lot of ice that don't come with a chiller, 
Yes, this is double the price, but you're also going to be, you're not going to be wasting as much you know, water and ice and plastic and everything like that. So it's going to save you money in the long run compared to those other models because of the chiller and the filter and all that good stuff. So once again, the Energize Cold Plunge Tub is made from a drop stitch polyester fabric, which is you know, the equivalent of you know, inflatable kayaks and paddle boards. The 1800 watt chiller requires a 120 volt outlet, which is once again standard at home. And it's gonna drop the water temperature from 65 degrees to 37 degrees in around four to five hours, which is you know, pretty solid, to be honest. Now that chiller does contain a micron filter. It's recommended you replace it once a month and then sanitize your water weekly, which once again, you do get that four month supply of the sanitation kit, which is honestly a really nice touch. Most companies aren't including that with your purchase. So I, I just personally really like that. The included cover is really nice. You know, you have you know, a lock on it right here. It's, you know, that's nice if you have you know, kids and you don't want them to get in it, you can keep this locked. And there's actually a code right here, which is really nice too. They can't get in it. Just a nice safety feature. Plus, you know, the main point here is that it's going to help keep those water temperatures locked in, whether you know you're at 37 degrees or, or you're testing out that 107 degree water. That's going to be really nice for you. You kind of work in tandem with that chiller. There's a hose hookup. It's really nice. You know, you just attach it to one of the outlets on the back. I'll show you guys in a little bit. That way, you know, you can drain all your water away from your electrical electrical components. Excuse me, and like all that all that stuff right there. And then lastly. It weighs 25 pounds on its own, so you know once you deflate it, it's really easy for you to stash it in that duffel bag and take it on the road with you, as I've mentioned a couple times. But it's going to weigh around 600 to 700 pounds when it's full of water. So if you're placing it on a deck, that deck's probably, you know, assuming it's going to be strong enough to you know handle that. But that's definitely just something that you want to keep in mind. All right, so I just want to highlight a few things up close for y'all. And I want to talk about the accessories and everything that kind of comes with your purchase. But first of all, your chiller is going to come in this box right here. And they actually recommend you keep it for whenever, you know, travel purposes. And it goes in there and there's wood in here and the styrofoam is going to help you know, protect it. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Just to, you know, consolidate here, I just decided to leave everything. That orange tube right there, this is your repair kit. You got your skimming net, obviously, your water sanitation, and your testing strips, which is all really nice. Now, this is gonna be your pump. As you can see, you know, it's pretty much a classic, looks like a bicycle pump, right? So, all you gotta do, you just take this end right here, and there's a little opening up here and on, on the actual plunge at the bottom right here. You just, you know, screw this in, pump it up. There's actually a deflate and an inflate side right here, and it's really nice. Make sure you check out which one. You don't wanna be doing the wrong thing. Anyways, you also have a, pressure gauge right here on the top you know it's actually recommended you do not fill this over 10 psi so it's nice that you know this has that which is really handy all right so let's talk about the actual chiller first now i don't know if you can hear it or not it does make a little bit of noise but it's relatively not that bad all right so this is obviously your power button right here this next button right here will actually change from fahrenheit to celsius if you wanted to now this s is stands for set all right so all you gotta do is you press the s and then you use these arrows over here on the right, and you can see on the bottom, that's the intended temperature. So it's really easy, just set it whatever you want. We're at 38 right now, it's cooling, we're trying to get it to 37. Press set again, and it's gonna lock in. And that W right there is for Wi-Fi, so relatively straightforward right there. You do have a set of wheels right here, and the filter is on the back. It's gonna filter your water, I think it's seven times every hour, which is you know, a really nice thing. Now, this is your hose hookup. This is gonna go in right on this water outlet right here. And that's pretty self-explanatory. You just screw it in, you know, screw on the hose, and then you're able to you know, direct all that water away from all of your electrical stuff. And you don't want to get electrocuted, right? Now, this is what I was talking about, these little stoppers. So whenever you actually unbox this plunge, there's going to be one of these attached here. Sorry about the dogs. There's going to be one attached here and over here. Now, that's going to be really nice. You know, say you don't have the option to use the chiller, you can always use ice if you want. Now when it comes to the actual you know, materials, remember this is a drop stitch polyester fabric right here. Once again, it's identical to the inflatable kayaks and paddle boards. So, you know, it's pretty solid. I can you know, put my body weight on it. It's not gonna collapse or anything like that, which is obviously what you want. Now, as you can see, it's on zero, zero right here on these clips. That's you know, unlocked. If you put it on, even if you just put one of them on, it's not gonna unlock. So that's a really nice you know, safety feature right there. And actually something I forgot to mention was there's actually a lock button as well with the chiller. That way you can lock that temperature in. 
nobody can mess with it or anything like that. Now, I think you know what time it is. It's time for the fun part. I'm going to hop in here. You know, we're sitting at 38 degrees right now. That definitely gets the job done. Just give me one second and we're going to hop in here. As you can see, I don't know if you actually, I don't know if you can tell or not, there's ripples, you know, that's where that water is coming in and at the bottom, that's where that water is getting sucked into the tubings back here and that water is getting filtered. All right, so that's just really nice right there. All right, takes a few seconds, catch your breath. As I said, you know, we're at 38 degrees. That's really, really cold. Body kind of goes numb after a few seconds like that, so I'm good to go now. And it's about 30 inches deep, so tall, I guess you could say. So definitely able to, you know, completely duck under like I just did. You know, even if you're over six feet tall, this is probably still gonna work for you, which is really nice. Man, this is cold. And you can, absolutely get all the way under whenever you want i'm not trying to completely freeze myself out right now as i do this video so i'm not going to go shoulder deep but you definitely can if you want to remember when it comes to cold plunging you really i wouldn't say more than seven minutes I mean, you could go to 10 minutes if you want to but seven should probably be the tops just because after that you're really not getting that much more of an effect on your body so definitely keep that in mind but yeah overall this is really nice i can easily you know lean up against it put my arms on it i'm putting all my body weight right here on my arms right now and it's holding me up. So definitely strong enough, sturdy enough to really get the job done for pretty much everybody. All right, so let's take a second and talk about, you know, who this, you know, cold plunge is intended for or maybe, you know, not so much. So, you know, if you're wanting a highly portable cold plunge, you know, one that you can take down and put in storage, this is one of the best options that are on the market super easy to do that you know it only takes a few minutes to deflate it put it in that duffel bag it's a really nice touch and also you know if you don't want to be super wasteful with water and ice and you know the plastic that comes with the ice and all of that that filtration system right here is going to be a really nice touch for you now when it comes to those who might not want to purchase this cold plunge really money you know is obviously a factor it's five grand and if you're not crazy about the material you can find you know acrylic one as I mentioned for the same exact price so you know you definitely want to remember that space is obviously still a factor you know this is still smaller than you know those bigger acrylic tubs but it's still you know five feet long and three feet wide or so, so you obviously need to make sure you have enough space just to store it at home and then one thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that you know if you live somewhere where the you know temperatures are getting sub 40 degrees actually I think on their website it says 37 degrees if it's below that actually really do on the risk of you know the tubes right here freezing that water freezing and kind of everything getting messed up so during those cold winter months this really isn't going to be the best option for you so definitely just keep all those things in mind all right that's a wrap on today's review over the energized cold plunge tub yes this is you know pretty pricey for some people but you know at the end of the day you know this is you know one of my favorite cold plunges on the market it's definitely my favorite portable cold plunge on the market right now it's really easy to set it up it only takes around 15 minutes or so you can use it with or without the chiller if you really want to thanks for watching y'all hope this video was really helpful and i was able to answer any questions you have about this cold plunge you know the drill keep your eyes out for my next video for now Head over to barbend.com so we have a full written review about this product. All you got to do is search Barbend Energize Cold Plunge Review. It's going to pull right up for you. You can read over everything we talked about here today. You might even learn something new. I'll catch you all next time.